What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round up where we left off, we are beginning our counter-offensive against Russia. And what we're doing is we're going to intercept this army under Yuri Lofocus, which has already been destroyed um, in the earlier battles near Ayasi. But this time we're going to destroy them to make sure they stay dead. So let's go take them out. So our overall push is going quite well. We are surrounding the Swedish Empire on the continent, which means if they attempt to make war with us again, we can attack them from all directions and squeeze them tighter and tighter and tighter. This is beautiful terrain. So because the enemy is not a threat, their army is significantly depleted we are going to be conducting a general offensive. I'm going to have my troops set up, storm forward, flanking unit on the right, also drop another howitzer unit, all firing quick climb, cavalry on the flank ready to take advantage of any morale breaks. This unit of Grenadiers can stay back. You can see the cut, the uh, quick line already coming in. Their lone unit, well, this one unit that the all all the guns seem to focus on, has got obliterated. This regiment of horse. Let's charge our Hussars up and let's pick a new target. Looks like they are going to wander just within musket range. Well, the Garda Cheval have charged up. Charge our men into the musket battle. Hello! This is where their engineers were hiding. And some irregulars. The main force continue to push. These men can engage the engineers. Kamuks are upset. So these men can focus fire the engineers and they're cutting them down at the head of their column. Yeah. There go the Kamuks, there go the general's bodyguard. Where's my Hussars? Continue to attack the mounted regiments. Yeah, they've countercharged. These three units should decimate the European mercenaries. You guys swarm the hand mortar company. Let's charge the Pandora. Pandora. Push everyone forward. Although I did see spikes. I did see spikes run around the spikes. To be honest, you might actually be a good shout just to charge down this grenadier unit, the engineer unit. Okay, danger close quick lime. These men pivot. The militia have broken, understandable. Got a general around to get ready to accept some of these routing proper units, such as the Hand Mortar Company. What's oh, another general's bodyguard unit? Come on, kill those last two engineers.
good stuff. Kill the hand mortars, chase down the militia. Realise my field artillery has been engaging this whole time. Actually, go after these mercenaries. Let's just stop our howitzers and our artillery from engaging full stop. Yes, we're going to continue, but with no artillery. And the job is to just intercept as many units as possible. Just to make sure, or to give us better odds, that the army just disappears from the map and doesn't retreat anywhere annoying. Yeah. Continue to attack the mercenaries. You are going to catch up to the irregulars, which is nice. More cavalry would have been good to take full advantage of the, the route. But this militia unit, yeah, it has successfully fled. However, the army should be near as damn it dead. What? I didn't even know you could go through, go through there. Well, that's not annoying at all. I mean... Let's try suicide and militia into it. See if I can, see if I can auto resolve kill them. Yes. Good militia. You're still waiting for this unit of guns to push up. I can't build any. Can't build any fortifications here. You guys can replenish as much as you can. But you're probably going to need. some of these troops from my support army. Signore. Okay, let's take them and a couple of, and a unit of grenadiers. Actually, it looks like it's just them. Take that grenadier guards out and swap them with grenadiers. Marcia. Mio sire. To be honest, we could probably do a, f a much bigger swap. Da sinistra. E marcia. Okay, unit of grenadier Rupe. guards, Avanti. which we can do a merge. One full unit Rupe. of grenadiers. And then we can replenish Signor here. Si. You can push Impossible. out, ready to start to hit towards Laval. We've got one force pushing up towards Poland, Warsaw. We're going to have you guys pushing up to support. See, this army is gathering ready for the attack on Bavaria when it happens. These armies kind of have to stay where they are. Um, oh yes, there is still a Mughal force off our coast. And there's also this Mughal force in the port, which was which is what we fought up near Stockholm. So I'm not really bothered about fighting them. Let's do a bit of replenishment. I uh, could probably do with generating another force, maybe, and landing and hitting Königsberg to create a coherent front line. Making 55,000. We're losing trade from Europe, from somewhere. Um, because we command the channel, we're just going to raid this trade right here. And that's going to earn us... <laughs> Uh, about another 20,000. Good. Then we've still got this Ottoman army here. So let's engage and we can start to free up some of these armies to go hit either Cairo or maybe land an anchor itself. That might be a good idea. Uh, because Ankara is going to be very, very dense with enemy troops. So 
so we're going to have a good opportunity here to do some well once we've annihilated this army too bad about the rain let's put the guns in the centre of our formation two good wings of infantry let's actually go heavy on the left drop some pikemen actually drop my pikemen behind the guns lest they uh, rush I've definitely picked the wrong guns to build my lines around go Oh, it's just a bit further back. So let's put the lion's share of the cavalry on the right. Put some heavy horse guards on the left. General in the centre. Now they have 24 pounder howitzers. And I might put the camels, put my pikes over on the right there goes there there goes their artillery but over here intercept and attack their cavalry so they don't interfere with our infantry push although you guys are going to have to dump into oh I hear that Okay, let's bring these pikes back. You guys focus on maybe the demi cannons at a weak point. Bring our pikes in to counter charge the Delhi horsemen. What the hell was that? They're, they're organ gun. Yeah. It was. Now you guys continue your gauging. Who are you on the flank? General's bodyguard, do not care. Okay, I'll get you guys out of square. Form up. You guys running. Pikemen on the flanks. So I want to avoid them. Push up the line. That is a rout. So let's send some of my cavalry to go harry them. Those grenadiers have routed it and they've not... They, well, they'd only lost a handful of men at the time. This cavalry could hit the light infantry. You can get a good charge off into the cowls, but you want to get back. The Mamelukes have returned. Avoid the camels with my light infantry, because they can't handle them. My heavies are going to attack the camel gunners. Do need to push and take these. Okay, hit the camel gunners. Push aggressively on this flank. My heavy cavalry. They'll do a good job against the camels. Regiment of Horse, yeah, it's my heavy cavalry that will do good against the camels. Let's run my Regiment of Horse through into the Muslim. You guys are going to shoot the Mamelukes off their horses in no trouble. My heavy cavalry is getting wiped out.
Okay, you guys are engaging with the heavy cavalry combat, which I don't want. You guys can chase the camels down, because camels suck. You guys chase down the Mamelukes. Looks like it might be getting to the point of a general retreat. Lots of people are retreating. Don't worry, horse guards. Just keep running. Ah, bad luck. Come on, Marines. Let's gun down these dogs. Ah. This is the Viserelli over here. Okay, let's push up. This flank aggressively. Push up. Yeah, probably you guys as well. Yeah, I've got a regiment of horse attempting to do some <laughs> intercepting and some raiding. Okay, Marines, form square. Because in come the camels. <laughs> They're coming in. They will have their revenge. Hit the general's bodyguard. Just change my power assist to round shot as well to also hit the general's bodyguard. Then once we've repulsed these camel gunners, these units can push the Israeli sat behind the wall. General's bodyguard is shaken, but just advance. Keep advancing up towards him. My regiment of horse is still doing his best. Although I'm probably going to speed up time now, because it's... Yeah. These Israeli aren't going to last very long. So to stop the howitzers from firing. Get the gunners to focus on hitting the general. They're forming up, but my infantry is ready to rock and roll. These aren't just any old infantry, these are Swiss Guards and Marines. Line infantry guards. Let's try hitting the general. See you men reload. These are elite Swiss these are elite Marines as well. Reloading skill, 52. So compared to newer marines, the newer marines melee is a lot better. Okay, let's turn off the artillery. My light cavalry can chase down the general. To attempt to kill him, even though I don't think he's got away. So my cavalry's only tired, his is very tired. Yeah, and there goes the Israeli. We're going to continue just because I want to try and kill the general. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm going to send this cavalry unit over to go do some damage to the Israeli. I'm not overly concerned about maximising my kills. Uh, technically I should, because they are a raiding army.
But right now we've got this army surrounded with with very capable troops. So I'm not overly concerned if we don't manage to kill them all in this in this uh, round of combat. Come on, come on. Seventeenth Order, decisive victory. We did take a bit of a pummeling for it. But it was a good win. Cut them down from nearly three and a half thousand to twelve hundred. They've retreated within range of this force, who is likely to just auto resolve that final battle. Although they're not they are not dead yet. You may replenish as much as you can, which is not much considering they don't have any I don't have any gold. This force is still pushing along the coast. Well, I've landed reinforcements. Let's go land. Let's go hit Cairo. And that might provoke them to ship some of their army south, which then will leave them exposed near Ankara itself. Okay, I think what we've got to do now is hit end turn. Trade route raided. Well, that's me. Good. Let's hit end turn. As our spies continue to push up the Caucasus region. And our agents continue to march up to Catholicize the Middle East. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to push us out of their port. Retirata! Understandable, considering that's their main artery for trade. Mm -hmm. They're going to continue to try and steal our technology, but there's not a lot we can do about it. I don't have any rakes nearby, and I don't want to risk my agents. And fundamentally, stealing my technology will not save them. Yeah, the Russians are pouring in men, so we need to... Oh, this army that's blockading. Although, no, no, they were evicted from the, uh, the port. Two sloops. We lost the sloop war. You can try and blockade us. Yeah, you are. <laughs> the fools. Yes, this is why we want quite robust... Sweden's declared on us. That's not good. But they're going to have to be quite... Well... They're going to have to be careful what they do. Because we've got troops in Vienna that can push in and start to hit key territories behind their lines. We've landed troops in Sweden. Understandable. A lot of troops in Sweden. Okay, Sweden needs to be fortified. <laughs> that much I do recognise. The question is now, do I make peace with the Ottomans to focus on trying to get a knockout blow onto Sweden? Because that's very tempting. First of all, though, well, don't worry about that. Natural causes. One of our gentlemen has died. Is it natural? Natural causes. Wink, wink. Okay. So you're at full strength. You can deal with whatever the Russians can throw at you. Three. You are now up to strength and can probably push onto them. You guys are pretty strong and will probably need to intercept. You guys don't move anywhere. Force them to attack you with reinforcements. You guys build a church school. Enemy raid at Gothenburg. Lots of enemy raids. We're probably going to lose Norway. Does Norway have defences? Nope. But I do have forces here in Scotland. Although they can't build howitzers yet. But what I probably want to do first is take 
this army, get it replenished, and get it somewhere closer on the road to the capital. Can you guys afford to leave the capital? You can. So let's start to raise forces in Stockholm. Because we've got a few incursions to defeat along the coast. We're likely to have some problems on our other front, hung our Hungary front. Can you leave Hungary? Minus four. Okay. Let's take a unit of line infantry, garrison them in Hungary. That doesn't help. Okay, in which case, Hungary, start churning out troops. The Vienna garrison can remain strong. Send cavalry forward to scout Breslau. Send cavalry forward to scout Prague. Okay, Prague's got a whole... Prague's got a whole uh, city, a whole garrison in there. What's tempting, actually, to try and do is go Russia. They demand 40 grand. Counter off there. 20 grand. Yeah, take it. And the reason why I'm going to take it. Gentlemen in central Italy. The reason why I'm going to take it is because... I do not want all these men defending the east. Two armies can be placed here to help defend the east. But I want troops up here ready to fight against, to push against Sweden. That's what we need to do now. So you are going to push towards Breslau. Your army is going to combine back together and push for Prague. Hungary needs to keep recruiting. Let's keep upgrading our seminary to try and prevent this tragedy. Let's go and go to the Ottoman Empire and say chill out and trade. And the reason why that's good is because it means that we've got Hey, is this like some weird no man's land then? This detachment of third rates. Okay, diplomacy, military access, five turns. I'll give you three grand. So is that army now just trapped? That's not good, is it? Well, we'll be ready. Unless I ask for quest military access. Okay, let's do. Damn. So where did our other army get teleported to? Because we had two there. Lists armies. I don't remember which one it was though. Vanesto Defendi, by the looks of it. Yeah, he's back here, which isn't great. Run him up to Sert. Let's get him redeployed. I want these guys to hold the front in France. While we try and take advantage of this temporary peace to push and hit Breslau, well, Berlin, Dresden, Prague, Breslau, start to really try and surround them. Defeat this push here. I mean, we could technically attack, but I don't really want to. Okay. 
Oh, yes. Uh, you're blockading us there. You can't. But now you can recruit a sloop. Yeah, you're blockading us there as well. You can't do more with, a, with our better dock. But we'll take this army out of uh, Trinidad and go hit Guyana. You guys can replenish on your way up to Bilbao. You guys can get back to Madrid. Replenish and let's take probably well these marine these militia can go occupy the port again. Probably two two howitzers and a field artillery. You guys can also march up to Bilbao. Tactical tree, yeah, that's okay. Tactical tree, a nested Fendi, yeah. Again, you're a bit of a loose end. But we really need to spin our focus around and start to. Well, we need to do some good damage to Sweden. Right now, all of their troops are on the west. Which means the east is undefended. We have an opportunity to, to destroy their forces in Sweden. But then maybe hit Copenhagen. We'd, oh, it'd be interesting to try and take Finland as well. What I'm tempted to do because I have no money is hit end turn and then end the episode during a major event. As my priests continue to wander their way up to the front lines. I don't think my army can move. I mean, the Ottomans have got loads of troops near Anatolia. So that's kind of why I definitely want naval superiority. So they aren't able to push those troops out and actually conduct war. Yeah, they're going to continue to steal my technologies. Russia hopefully is going to pull back. I mean, that kind of looks like they want to declare war again, which wouldn't be great, especially if I've just given them... Yeah, it definitely looks like they want to declare war. Well, either way, we need to do what we can do. Maybe those two armies that are near Spain can sail to Copenhagen and land and take the city. You're marching up. Do I want to intercept? No. I want to get another turn of recruitment. No. Okay, they're crossing up into Stockholm from the north. That's two stacks. Mm, they have sallied, so we do not want to hit to fight them we want to withdraw you probably you can withdraw interesting option they've given us though now we could try and push straight for prague but that's probably not the wisest decision okay they're starting to flirt with the idea of attacking me They've run around me, weirdly. Suppose I have no movement points. Okay. So nothing really happened. Path blocked, I know. No posso farlo. Ordini, capitano. <laughs> Yes. No, they are trapped for some reason. <laughs> Building sabotaged. Okay, well let's A, let's repair it and B, let's probably send you fellas down to hit 
Bard Petraeus. If you guys can run around, you can head over. I don't know if they have any movement points, that's why they're letting me run past them. Lots of raids. Let's raid. Well, first of all, hold on. let's raid Rotterdam. Oh no, don't don't go over there. You're going to get within range of the steam dry dock. Okay. Let's expand some of our religious schools to keep the conversions going. So the option we've been given is go straight for Prague. I do not like this option. I think the better option is to probably rev my cavalry unit one. Join up Mario Torricelli. I want Vigo Nikvist to go back up to Prague. Michele, Michele Contarini can lay siege to Breslau if, you want, if this army wants to push out. They're more than welcome to. Then we can sally. Let's upgrade this. This army. How could you handle? Can Vienna handle no not having you in here? Not Signore. really. So let's pick up a general and one turn's worth of infantry to act as a garrison once we leave. So you've recruited a good number of troops. It's going to take a couple of turns for those guys to get down from the north. So let's get a marines. Two units of guards and a unit of engineers. Enemy raid Calais. Let's not try and spend all our money because we've got a bunch of battles to fight first. Yeah, they are flirting with pushing. Let's take this unit of infantry that's not doing anything and sit them on this bridge. Okay, don't go into the port yet. Let's recruit another sloop ready for transport duties. We want these armies to be replenished. This is tempting to land them and hit land them on Copenhagen. And capture their, their current capital. Hungary, Sweden, Gibraltar, the Med. Okay, so right now I'm trying to organise everything so that I don't have to... Next turn, all I can worry about is fighting a series of battles. So if you can get aboard ship in the Americas. Let's have a look at Paramaribo first. What have they got? It's probably going to be a fairly... Yeah, just a bunch of levy. Deploy the troops to the north and we can just push them out of the territory. Actually sail and have a look at Cayenne. A lot of troops, again, a lot of levy. So... Fire at will should do some good stuff to them. Upgrade a couple of these cheaper ports that are still functioning. Hungary was upgraded, yes. Pleasure gardens in Spain have been sabotaged, but that's okay. So this army is enough to push away Volta Valen. And then we've got this army under Angelo Di Benedito is going to go hit Bard Petraeus. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode for the first of a couple of battles that are going to be uh, pretty important. So, thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.